what's up everybody it's your boy drop a hits and i'm back y'all been requesting this i do read the comments the best of abner now love him or hate him he was very entertaining i started off hating him y'all know that but i did grow to like him even though i didn't agree with a lot of stuff he did but he was one of the most entertaining participants so far out of 60 days in but before we get into all that let me remind you guys i do stream on twitch so if you haven't followed me there please do so Link is below in the description. I'm also thinking of uh, live streaming here once a week just to have like a 60 days in discussion with everybody. Let me know what you guys think about that and I'll set a certain day for that. All right, so with that out of the way, let's drop right into the video. One of the, the blacks, Savage, told me to cut his hair. I said, yeah, I don't have to cut hair. Be Decent seen, enough. He's gonna cut my hair and I'm gonna cut his hair. What you mean, nah? <laughs> what you mean, nah? <laughs> Abner ain't having that. Then, this young kid, B Shaw, tells me the blacks are going next. In front of everybody, disrespecting me. He came up in there running the pod from the get go. I couldn't cut Savage's hair because I'm Chicano. Savage even told me to cut his hair. He comes out the loop. In prison, I was literally an animal. I've been through war. These guys have no idea the blood I have shed. <laughs> Even though it's been 10 years, you know, and I'm a chaplain, it's kind of hard to like, you know, this is in me, man. <clears throat> so automatically I called him out and said, you a punk. I knew we'll mess that dude up, man. Like, come on, man. Ding, ding. It's fight time. <sighs> B-Shaw got it real quick when he saw that, hey. B-Shaw got shook is what it is. And he ran out the cell. Very smart for him to run out the cell. <laughs> Yo, Abner went right back to straight convict, man. Like, that was no problem for him. I think it was a lesson learned for the whole pod. If you come at me, I'm gonna come at you. I am a man of God, and I will be a man of God when this is said and done. But right now, I'm gonna play this full throttle to intimidate. Mm-hmm. Because if you're the head of blacks, and I punked out one, one of your buddies. buddies. You're, You're gonna, gonna say, hey, why did you do that to one of mine? I wanna get beat up for here. <laughs> if you're gonna play politics, and just play all, all the way. way. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, only with his big ass head. Anybody who's claiming so that can still watch it for him. Four pods. 
vouching for him. Four pods say he's a rat. I don't even know who you are, man. He's coming at me. I think only would have uh, messed Abner up, though. You are who you think you are. When you come in here, I'm sorry, but this is my A mega problem. mind, though. <laughs> I know I'm the aggressor. If something happens, I am going to protect myself. But when this is said and done, I am a man of God. I'm not a criminal. I didn't come here to commit a crime. We'll see about that, buddy. So I've been here a long time, and I'm saying uh, it's, it's not necessarily a pecking order with me. It's out of respect. It's like me coming to you guys and saying, "Hey, this dude's a rat." True. But wherever this dude is, I'm gonna go talk to him right now, and I'm gonna ask him face to face. If I see anything funny, then I can take the judgment. You know what I'm saying? He was just mad at a situation that you have to enforce your policy. I'm telling you, man, no Abner way. was running things, he man. Your words are no good, and he has to go. I mean, I guarantee there probably was no racial problem until Abner brought it to light. It was making people do things because this honestly is a soft jail compared to uh, other seasons. Roll him out. He went in the room and he pretty much could smell the fear in him and he knew. And at the end of the day, the politics played out and you had to follow the order I gave. I don't know about all that, Abner. You didn't give no order, you man. Can't touch me. I am royalty in here. Oh. A little egotistical. I am the enforcer for the Chicanos. This was a Chicano, so at the end of the day, I'm going to enforce. I just see that you were lying in the deep, man. And you tell me I just know it was. If you were to walk like five, ten years ago, I would have did you build the reason you heard. Everybody, you know, I'm trying to be a different man, bro. You don't see me stealing, especially for my people that look out. You don't see him stealing, nobody look out for him. He watches his little clothes, look what he has to do. You know what I'm saying? And if you see for me, my man, I don't care if anybody in here. I notice he gets on people that are smaller than him. Let me, let me be so. I'm gonna beat the out of you. Okay, and I wanna show you me drop you. I don't give what any of them say. I'm a man. If you steal from me, I'm gonna beat the out of you. We need to have him for season six though, man. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, come on. I was the one that had to put the pressure on Robert because nobody else could put fear in him to say the truth. Just have faith so this man can get a clear path. You know We're not doing nothing to you. We're not doing nothing to you. Just we're paying the debt. We're paying the debt off, bro. All right. 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 At the end of the day, when we sat there and questioned Robert, he broke and said the truth. I did steal it. It was my fault. Then they feed him and he's still stealing. He's wrong for stealing. And of course he got rolled out. And they made sure he was still okay, even though they rolled him out. And the outside, I'm a chaplain, but in here, I'm the enforcer. <laughs> He's all the enforcer. He says that a lot. Y'all gonna the learn. Enforcer holding position for the Chicanos, the right hand man <laughs> for the head of the Chicanos. Yeah. When you get called upstairs, something's going down. Gangs hold meetings in blind spots. Could be a shower, could be one of the rooms with no camera or where the camera doesn't reach. 
and decide punishment. Giovanni took it upon himself to start stealing from Justin a wood. $50 worth of foam. That's crazy, and, man. Uh, that was a no no. And especially from the woods. I don't know how you want to do it. He just sitting there all the politics of more relaxed street. up, got his you feet have to up. Force it to the fullest, which is my job. I'm the enforcer. I said to myself, what do we do with it? The woods, everybody, we put up a scheme to watch him, to catch him in the act. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Abner, I'm the enforcer. So me and Rudy got together to catch him in the act. Keeping him out. Giovanni took the bait, and Jordan saw him click the numbers in. And that's how we pretty much caught him. You were caught. There's no way around it. You're caught. Bing, bing. They about to take it out on him. How do you want to do it? From my experience in being in gangs, you have to enforce your politics. Even if it's your brother, you have to. I can't keep control of the soldiers if I'm not in command. They're going to have a kangaroo the court. Sacrifice. If someone has to get smacked, someone will get smacked. If someone has to get punished, I'm the guy you're going to go on on one way. I don't f with these and I don't f with rats. All right, well, let's run in. You talk a good one, but we don't have a trial. No, no, we're going to have a trial. F that. Oh, here it is. The trial. We're pretty much the judge and the jury. So I got everybody together and basically let them know, if you're against me, I'm against you. So you need to be against him. He's wrong for stealing. He stole from the white boy. They caught him. Dead ass. I don't make no sense, even if I did it. He stuttered, mumbled, uh, uh, you know. You could tell he was lying. A green light with the Chicanos or any other is pretty much your ban from the unit, the gang, everywhere. You're pretty much going to be looked upon as a snitch, thief, check-in, whatever. What about it? I forgot what I was going to say. He went in front of the camera and ran out the room. It's like a snitch checking move. A rat. <laughs> yeah, I've seen these before. And when a convict sees that, he smells prey. It's going to be Chicanos, the woods, all of them on you. Once he sees that blood pouring, he's going to know what reality is. You a rat. You a rat, bro. Okay, <laughs> baby. You a rat. The thing is, they used to be cool, too. They used to play chess a lot together. Giovanni self-destructed. Can't be stealing, though, man. You, 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 you pretty much killed yourself. And he's the one that's wrong. Stealing. Stealing. He's the one that's wrong. Yeah, he's got to be like right now. Everywhere he goes. And Giovanni used to play chess a lot. Yeah. But this time, I pretty much checkmate him. <laughs> 
<laughs> That'd be wild, man. There is no people coming in. I'm looking forward now to kind of mentor the kids a little more before I go. You know damn well he don't run nothing, man. Yeah, hey, I'm kid, man. Damn. Why is it like that? Abner, he was explaining to me, you know, he's like, they don't care about your Hawaiian or not. If your skin color is dark, you run with the black. That's the thing, nobody messed it's with him until Abner says something. I'm part black and white. Why can't I? I'm Puerto Rican, man. Right? Ikaika needs to learn the rules in jail. You're black, you're black. You're white, you're white. You're brown, you're brown. Ikaika doesn't get it. He's gonna have a hard time because these guys, they're savages. No, they're not. Ikaika, he's hanging with the woods. You're not a wood. It's like a box of crayons. <laughs> you only belong to one color. He has that confused. Questions me how much coffee. Yeah, that dude should have never got involved. You're man. not supposed to even be talking to me. I'm not part of your gang or your race. You're not supposed to be politicking with another race. You know, the coffee doesn't matter. It's about the rules in jail. Now you got two other races involved in it. To put your guard up because at any given moment, then the white dude would have messed him up, though. I don't know. Though. My time in hole. <laughs> what, what the f now? I have to take care of that. Ikaika being racially confused, jumping the fence back and forth is very dangerous. It's gonna give you a label of you don't have no loyalty to anyone. So you need to pick a race and stick with that race quick. Abner was forcing that on him though, man, but. <laughs> so he loved that word, man. I <laughs> hold the bangers in the room. They're ready to rip your head off. And he knew what he did was wrong. No. Oh. Mm. If you're gonna play politics, let's play all the way. Hmm. And he won't even really hit him, man. 
Some weak ass punches, man. He got hit him so he folds like a chair, man. Ikaika, he needed a rude awakening. He no, he didn't know. I don't agree with that. <sighs> but he was chilling, man. Abner made it a big deal. I think I was that father figure that he didn't have that needed to put him in check when he needed to be put in check. I think I've overstepped the boundaries of what I've previously seen on 60 Days In. I'm in so deep. At this point, I'm past being in too deep. It is what it is. What happened with Ikaika? I feel bad for him because he doesn't have a father figure in his life, and I want him to go home, and I want him to 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 leave this. He smack him up. He made the man afraid of you. You know, I, I look at him as my kid. I said it before. He looks at him like a kid, so you smack your kid around. <laughs> Don't cry now. And that was me 25 years ago. This is your fault. <laughs> you know, that kid uh, hit my weak spot. I think you hit his weak spot too. Because he was put in a situation that I had to deal with by somebody that was no good. And I'm not proud of the things I've become and the system has done this to me. And this is, this is why I'm doing this on 60 Day. So if you come on this program- What, starting shit? Then be a participant. You should do it for the right reason. So you can reach somebody. Because I've seen people get killed over this. And uh But yeah, enough of me. It's <laughs> <laughs> enough of me. The kite stated, hey, tell Amner uh your boy David said, what's up? I this is when David started confused. fucking like, everything up. I didn't up. understand what I was looking at. Like, what the, what, what the Abner got shook. This is weird. Because remember, I don't know nobody here. That's my cover story. I rigged up the kite. dangerous because I don't know what B. Shaw knows about me or what he doesn't know. Because in here, if they find out that I'm undercover, it's gonna be 10, 20 guys on top of you, stomping you till you can't move anymore. These I don't think so, not in that jail. And it's not gonna be no walking away. They yeah, like they were scared to fight in there for real. When something serious like this happens, it's almost like a trophy. You know, we got the snitch. I had to sleep with one eye open because I didn't want when someone went by to attack me. 
So before that even happens, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm going to home. Hmm. Mm -hmm -mm. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The best of Abner, what I thought were the best parts from season five. Um, I probably missed a few things, but hey, I did what I could do. Actually, doing this video makes me want to do season five over. I know you guys are looking for season five, which they were taken down. I did have them up here. They were taken down because I did them in the wrong way. So I know how to do them now, which is why I do a small uh, frame with me in the background. So that's the only way they can go through. Wish I could do it bigger, but I can't. So we're stuck with this. So be on the lookout for season five. I don't know when I'm going to start that up. Probably sometime in the, in the middle of every week from uh, season six. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, make sure you guys join my discord the link is below man we got a couple participants from this season in there man we have a good time in there we're always chatting up six days in or anything in general it's getting pretty uh packed in there now so you know there's always somebody to talk to if you guys want to come up in there um and like i said follow my twitch if you haven't done so already uh make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you love this content i do try to put them out as much as i can and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video I love you guys, and as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Yes, move back a bit. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit. my god! Oh, no.